Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who have been subscribed to me for years and years and years, I know I have been MIA. I know y'all was like, where this girl been? She been here <laughs> yeah, about 10 years to be exact for me actually being on camera, doing videos, but guess what? I am back. I am back to do the YouTube thing, the K-bonus thing, the bonus, to be the bold me that I am. And that's on period, right? If my eyes keep going back and forth, it's like I'm trying to get used to not looking directly in the camera because if I look directly in the camera, it'll have me looking to the right or to the left, to the left, to the left. <laughs> but anyways, I just came in here, I'm not gonna talk a lot. I just came on here to do a really quick haul because I wanna do a video um, showing like the basic things that you need when you're doing um, maybe just like a simple everyday makeup look using drugstore makeup. The misconception people think about makeup is that you always have to, you have to use high-end stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with the high-end products and I use some high-end products, but my go-tos are my drugstore makeup because I can apply my makeup and make them look as if they are high end. Now, I do mix and match a little bit, but I'll get into that as I explain everything. And let's just talk about my face for the day. Um, on my brows, I just have a regular um, eyebrow pencil, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I have on my face, I am using the um, Maybelline, how's it look on it? The Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I am, uh, I highlight with um, LA Gold Pro Concealer, Color Fawn, um, I, same under my brows. Um, I contour with um, Black Radiance, a uh, Black Radiance powder, and I use a bit of Fenty um, for my highlight and on my lips. Um, this is a lipstick called Brick Red, and it's by Dazzle Cosmetics, and I'll put her Instagram information down in the description bar. Listen. Go visit her Instagram, DM her to get these. These lipsticks are the truth. And that's on period. They last all day long. Very creamy, nice, matte. Gives you a deep, deep, like a, a full, rich look. And they last all day. I mean, they might rub a little with the mask, but they last all day. I swear by them. This is all I wear. Anyway, let's get into this haul. Okay, so I know some people are saying, oh, I don't do makeup, I don't like makeup, whatever, whatever, or I can't do my makeup because I don't have the time. If you're doing just an everyday face, you want an everyday nice, refreshing work face, you don't need a whole bunch of time. And we'll get into that later videos. I'll do tutorials on the different faces that you, know, you can use for work, for going out, for just everyday or whatever. But let's get into some of the basics that you would need to be able to do a simple makeup look with drugstore makeup. First of all, I, um, this primer, it's by Wet n Wild. It's called Water Drop Rose Primer. And I'm sorry, I'm squinting. I do not have my glasses on. But this is my first time using this one. I usually, my go-to is usually the Rimmel, um, Stay Matte um, Primer, but this is my first time using this one and I have it on under this makeup right here and it's so far so good. So primer, prime your face, it covers um, the, the pores look, it, 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 it's very, it covers the pores so you won't see your pores in your makeup. Um, it'll help your makeup stay, it'll prevent your makeup from creasing. So, so far so good with this one. Okay, after that you will need foundation. Now my go-to, is Maybelline. Maybelline Superstay. Superstay Fit Me, um, Dream Matte Mousse. I swear by Maybelline. I used to use MAC, um, NW45, Studio Fix Liquid. If you ask me, I prefer this one. That's just my preference. I'm not saying anything is wrong with MAC. MAC is great, but this is my preference right here. Oh yeah, and this primer was like $4. This one I think is $13.99 for this one. I think this 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 
foundation right here is $13.99, but it's it's so worth it. So worth it. Nice. It, it's full coverage. Does not rub off easy. So that's Mac the Super Stay. Um, next thing after the foundation, we need what are we gonna do our brows with? So I got this little brow pencil from the beauty supply store. And it was like $1.99. But th this is this right here is what I'm wearing on my brows right now. It's just pencil. I drew. La, 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 la. Can you talk? You <laughs> I just drew the outline of my brows. And I filled it in with this pencil. No other pomade. No other um, brow gel. No other anything. Just this pencil. But I forgot that I have bought this um, NYX one from... Um, Walgreens also and it was only $4.97 so next time next makeup look I'm gonna try this one right here so yeah that's all I have and under my brows I use the LA girl pro concealer in fawn that goes underneath and on top excuse the uh, I don't know what the top is but anyway on top I use this darker one I believe this one is chestnut and $2.99 that's it what else? So we did the, we have the primer, we have the foundation, we have the eyebrow pencil, we have the concealer. Let's do mascara. This one is by Wet n Wild. I've never used this one before because nine times out of 10, when I'm doing my makeup, I will be wearing lashes. So I just, I just picked this one up because sometimes I don't want to wear lashes every day and I just want to use mascara. So. This one is a necessity. And last but not least, powder. So, me personally, on top of my Maybelline foundation, I like to use the MAC Studio Fix NW45 powder. And for some reason, it just, the blend is very well. It blends well together with the Maybelline and I just like the look that it that it gives me. That, that's just my preference, but I don't use it all the time. If I'm wearing makeup every day, which I used to do before the pandemic, I would use this Black Radiance as my go-to powder. This is almost equivalent to the Studio Fix. It's not as rich, but it'll give you that Studio Fix look. So I would use this one, which is by Black Radiance. That's what I use for um, just a setting powder after I'm done with my with my regular face. It's like a regular workday face. Now, in videos to come, we will get into going out face. We will get into a natural glam look. We will get into contouring and highlighting. And I am gonna do a very detailed brow video. I put up like a short, um, showing like the, the before and the after of my brows, but I'm gonna do some detailed videos because we, as women, don't always have to go to a MUA to get our makeup done. No shade thrown towards the MUAs because I used to be one myself. But this is something that we should be able to do. We should be able to see the blank canvas and work on it and, and paint that picture and see the finished product. It's nothing wrong with that. Every now and then, if you want to go and, and get your face beat by MUA, by all means, do that. But making up our face even if it's just for an everyday simple look is something that we should be able to do on our own and i am here to help you do that i prefer to do my own hair i prefer to do my own nails i prefer to do my own makeup i don't want anybody else doing it that's just me that's just my preference so if y'all stay tuned and ride with me we will have more videos to come. Anything y'all want to see, just leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And we will make it happen. But guess what, baby? K-Bonus LLC, we are back. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I do a video. Later, y'all. Bye.